Hello. 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 Every Rush song. On certain nights, when the J rays are right, and the shane is a slender crescent, Tim Shuckle shows in a ghostly glow. An every rush song essence. You like that nice. one? Nice. How about that, was, that one? Uh, you yes. like that one? How about that one? That one. Can you do it again next week? No. Yeah. Can you do it last week? Yes. Okay. All right. Can't wait to hear I'm looking that. Looking forward to last week. Earthshine tip. Yeah. I'm under the impression that this is one of your favorite. It is absolutely. Earthshine is my favorite song from the album. Well, look who's yeah. jumped the gun on favorite songs of the album. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's it's Earthshine. Can I ask you a question, Tim? The question I'm sure is going to be why. No, the question is, does it go like this? Fade. Yes. Yeah, I'm getting good at that. I, yeah. I, you are, and man, you're right, Tim. That is your favorite song, you know. <laughs> it, it is. Yes, <laughs> I concur. Yeah. Follow up question: Why? Uh, I don't. Why do I always go to the chin when I'm going to ask a? Uh, well, because to be a Shane. This song has everything that we all agree upon why Rush is so great. And it's also got all the stuff that you don't necessarily care for in Rush songs. So what? therefore, huh? it's the greatest. It's got a hard rock opening guitar riff. Check. It's got killer bass line. It's got really, really good drum playing it's got check tempo i mean not tempo but time signature change galore in Does this song it ever it's got a great chorus it's got great verses and we get getty o's and getty do's and getty oos <laughs> in this song you gotta love it and to me my probably my favorite and I'm not talking about the Getty doos and does and oohs and ahs. I'm talking about the the harmony parts on 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 this. It's probably some of my favorites that yeah. they've done. I wish I and, could. And that's why it's not a crazy long song. It jams. Look, it jams with it jams with everything that they got it jams getty's bass neil's drums alex's electric and acoustic guitar jamming all together at the same time stick it's sure. voice it, it, very high yeah it did <laughs> and and this He's song excited. to me excited right now and I, and i was extremely excited about this you know Popping. that they that they played it on the vapor trails tour but it's also one of those songs that I thought after that tour, they wouldn't do it again. But they did on the R30 tour. So, boom, way to go, Rush. You made Very this nice. band extremely happy. <laughs> it's just a great song. You know, and, it is. And of course it is. And of course it is. I, I've got some observations, some General observations. General observations. General observations. So I jumped the gun, didn't I? <laughs> a little bit, right but there. it's okay. Right there. I took my time with it. Um, well, first of all, one must ask oneself, Earthshine, what is Earthshine, <laughs> you may ask? 
I was well, going to ask. I'm well, I'm glad you did. Uh earth shine is a double reflection that occurs when sunlight bounces off of the moon onto the earth, but the earth bounces it right back at the moon. So on certain nights when the angles are right and the moon is a slender crescent, like aka crescent moon, you can see light. That was bouncing, uh, bounced off the earth. A beacon in the night. I can raise my eyes to earth shine. Earth shine, but you're out, out of reach. <laughs> I think you went a little long <laughs> on that, but I did, I did not. I mean, it's just, uh, yeah. Is, it a is this a love song or is, is it a uh, song about loss or is it a song about love? loss and love and loss and love i don't is think a, i don't think it's I have the, it any of the moons? above i have notes oh I, please somebody give me some notes <laughs> yeah shane go ahead with your notes <laughs> <laughs> by the way what no. does this song even sound like i haven't heard it have it you? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, oh, that's right. I forgot about our fake intro at the beginning. Yeah, I was okay. actually going to leave that in. My intent was to leave in my intro and then I and then go to Tim's, but now it's not going to be there. There's going to be the Tim intro, and oh. I'm just going to cut it. So maybe I'll put it on somewhere where I'm going to mm -hmm. put it behind the paywall. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> there's no paywall. Welcome to behind the curtain. Every rush song. And there's like dig, 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 in the guitar. Yes. Now oh, I, I don't understand. Awesome. I don't understand why Neil went a little racist with that last line. A uh, Jew out of reach. I mean, for crying out loud, um, Getty's right there. It's a, well, and he you can't reach him because he's behind the kit. But actually, the line is jewel. Jewel. Out of reach. Okay. Yeah, yes. Not Jew. Jewel okay. out of reach. Mm. Yes. Um, Glad we can clarify that. Just to let you. everybody know out there, um, I was just making a funny. Okay, I knew that it was Jewel. Uh, Getty is Jewish. Why would I do that? No, no. Also, Tim's not a bigot. Nope. Look to the other tab. Look at my notes. Ring We'd like to mention here at every Simmons rush song, Stewart. the opinions of every rush song do Debate. not necessarily reflect. The opinions of every rush song. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. So, do you know who was the first person to catalog the Earthshine? It was, I don't remember the guy's name. It was really? a certain, how could you? It's a certain person the French call, I don't know what. Um, mm -hmm. And it was done in 1945. Ooh, that's good. Leonardo right. da Vinci. Uh, way off. Okay. Yeah, and I'll put a link if I remember. So 1944. I'll put a, I'll put a link in the show notes <laughs> because he's got a pretty school a school catch. He's got a pretty school catch. Where am I? He's got a pretty cool sketch of Leonardo, by the way. We go way back. Ooh. Of uh, of an earth shine. It's pretty cool. I'll put a link so you can check that out. Please. Leonardo thought that the reflection was off of the oceans, but as we have learned with science, supposedly, Forms. it's a reflection off the clouds. Word. Yeah, the clouds. So the brightness of the earth shine will depend on the cloud cover. How much sun is how much sunlight is re reflecting off the earth onto the sun and onto the moon depends on the cloud cover. And that'll determine how bright the shine is but so, wait you know, hang on explain that to me does let's there need to be more cloudy look, in other let's, words look let's 
let's pretend that I don't know anything about math or science or physics or biology. Wait. Or reading or writing. <laughs> grammar. Wait. Grammar. So let me get this straight. We're pretending. Yeah, we're just going to pretend <laughs> this. Okay, we're going to pretend that. Okay. What okay. if when, like, I, I'm i up very early in the morning, Monday through Friday, uh -huh. driving into work. Uh -huh. we've, uh -huh. we've already had the full moon. It's a beautiful, clear sky here in North Texas. And I see the moon in its slender crescent, but you can make out the outline I can make of out? the moon. Yes. But Sorry. how, how, if you're saying it's a reflection from the clouds, mm -hmm. the clouds from Earth, all Earth. Earth as a whole. As a whole, not necessarily okay. from, so chances are, this is right. just so me kind of Basically, you're this. saying that on the whole, Preparation H is good. <laughs> Thank you. I'm here all week. So I'm just kind of thinking this through based on what you have caused my mind to go through, Tim. <laughs> 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 if more cloud cover on the earth in general, not necessarily where the, the viewer of Earthshine is, more cloud cover, general cloud cover. In general, didn't work that time. Earth in general? You know what? This is actually a private joke between Jay and me. I have a joke. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot. <laughs> I couldn't telegraph it enough. All right. So if it's if it's I'm brighter, a major pain. Major pain. <laughs> major pain. Damn it, I missed it. If it's brighter when there's more cloud cover, right? A brighter earth shine means that fewer people are going to be able to see it because it's going to be cloudy in more places. Is that right? I think so. I think you're full of shit. <laughs> uh, okay, Tim. Yes. Do not look behind you. Please don't look behind you, but there is a giant purple dragon right behind you, and he's holding what looks to be a pina colada in a coconut cup. Oh, my worst fears come true. Yes. The Somebody coconut. Save me. Somebody save me. Hey, you know what? Somebody save me. If a dragon brings you a pineapple, you eat it. And you thank that dragon. No, That's he's not bringing motto. me a pineapple. He's bringing me a coconut, a drink in a coconut shell. And I say, I'm going to party with that dude. That's yeah. right. Yeah. yeah. But the you, you and me together, forget about forget it. Forget about it. <laughs> One last fun fact. Earthlight. I'm reading this from Wikipedia. Earthlight on the moon during the waxing crescent is called the old moon in the moon's arms, while during the waning crescent is called the new moon in the old moon's arms. That, that was more interesting sense. when I read it than when I said it. So, so um, do you think that uh, the late gray Neil Peart, God rest his soul, knew? All this about Earthshine when he, yes. when he wrote the song, yeah. really, absolutely, yeah, sure. I, not, I well, mean, he he doesn't everybody. Very, he was a very learned, learned man, learned, 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 learned. Yes. and he does mention it once in Ghost Rider. It's in one of the letters to Brutus, and he just says that he's talking about early in the morning and he saw Earthshine. Yeah, so, so he knew, huh. he knew. I think that cool. we're pretty much the only people who did heard of it until <laughs> just us. Maybe yeah. it's a Canadian thing. We're special. No, well, but every time, every time when I see that moon in a slender crescent, I pop Earth shine on. That's right. Baby. As you should, sir. Because, you should. because it's wonderful. Yeah. You know? I mean, I never really paid that much attention and I love. I love his lyrics. He, you know, basically comparing himself to the moon and the way it looks, I guess you would say. Um, I wouldn't. 
Would you? Maybe I see a faint reflection, <laughs> pale <laughs> facsimile. Right. Pale what, facsimile. Like when they look in my dr- direction. Yeah. No, yeah. Look in my... Yes. Now, now knowing his religious views um, mm-hmm. towards the end of that little mixture of words. Okay. Okay. All right. I, mean, I used to think, you know what? This could be a, a nice little Christian song right there. You know, um, uh, my borrowed face and my third hand grace only reflect your glory. The Bible says we're created in the image of God, our borrowed face. The issue is, is the third hand grace. I'm not really yeah. sure about the third hand grace, but the only reflect your glory. <laughs> yeah. But right. again, it's it's not. But it could be. But yeah. I, I I but I love that. I I love I I just love this song. I love the song. Yeah. <laughs> Do you love this song? <laughs> I love the song. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Failed bit. <laughs> First, Tim, yes. I hate to disappoint you about the third hand of grace thing, but I figured it out. Yeah. I solved it. I'm yeah. disappointed. I solved okay. it. And we'll get Let's to get that. We'll Let's get to it later. Why, why, well, then why bring it up now? I'm teasing. I'm teasing. Package, buddy. Package. Package. They got to stick through. We want you to stick through and see all of our all of our yeah, bad jokes. They want to. <laughs> they want you to come back after the break. After that commercial break. But Tim, so yeah, that is a good point. I I went to a church here, the big church in Grapevine. I don't remember the name of it. Um, um, Fellowship. Yeah, Fellowship Church once, and they played "Learning to Fly." The church. I guess I don't know if you call it a praise and worship. I think they're more of a rock band than a praise well, and worship band. Yeah. They played Learning to Fly by the Foo yeah. Fighters. My guess is they they probably um Oh, it wasn't used a lot of version? like secular song. No, it was the same lyrics as as the they didn't change anything. Yeah. It no, pretty, I, pretty, I said I, I, yeah, I thought it was Tom Petty's version. No, 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 yeah. no, no. The Foo Fighters Learning okay. to Fly. Foo Fighters you know Fly. Foo Fighters Fly. Exactly how it goes. But this, yeah, this this could be a, a religious song, Tim. It could be. Reading through it. I mean, yeah. Well, I mean, he uh, had I to have been questioning sure. some of that, right? While he's uh, he's going through this. I well, I don't think hey, in this song. I don't think well, even in this song. But. Well, not necessarily this song, but like he's working through the, his his grief throughout. You know, this this entire album reflects that. And I've got a lot to say, especially in the next episode how oh do you how, yes how i almost corrected it, him says round <laughs> how in how in some of neil's lyrics he's almost preaching right out from the bible interesting however and i'm not talking about and the meat shall inherit the earth okay i'm not talking <laughs> about that all right yeah. but yeah a part of this right here i mean it makes perfect sense on that from a religious point of view, it, right. it, 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 it makes sense to me. I think but, that he, oh, go ahead. No, no, I was just going to say, but it, it wasn't, it wasn't on a religious intent from him. He's talking about what we actually see with the moon and the earth and the sun and Mars. Um, God rest uh, the rovers. <laughs> rovers. Oh, um, God rest the ropers. Yeah. Oh, um, he said, God rest the ropers. No, <laughs> no. What happened like to when, the ropers? Like Three's company, those ropers. <laughs> yes. Norman Stanley. Uh, I love it. Just... I love it when he would say something, he would do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to remember. I was looking for an excerpt uh, where I had mentioned something. Excerpts from the book, but I can't find it. So I was looking for never expert, mind. E- excerpts. Yeah. So I was trying to decide if that book. was from uh, Ghost Rider, from the Ghost Rider book. 
Did you see a piece well, of something else? You said else? you had to figure but out. No. Do you know what the line in my third hand of grace would be? You know what that would be about? Yeah, I mean, but that's like three pages down into my notes. You want me to spoil it now? Oh, get on <laughs> with it. Okay, I'll, oh, I'll jump to God. that. We'll forget everything no, we learned about just radio. Just go through your notes then and then. Let's move on to chapter two end. now, shall we? Move on to chapter three. Okay. So have you, uh, did, did y'all, did y'all want to talk about what you think it's about or anything like, like the meaning of the song before I just completely ruin everything for you? <laughs> oh, I would rather have it ruined. Jay hadn't even started. <laughs> 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 I want to know what the song means to Tim. Other than it being his favorite song on the album. That's hey, that's all you need to know. <laughs> Tim doesn't Tim doesn't I mean, he's like get into him as I have much to explain. I don't I yeah, I, I really don't. I mean, obviously the opening lyrics, he actually talking about the moon. Yes. And what you see in this Earthshine event. Agreed. You know. Now, when you get to the second verse, eh, may, I think about? that that's I think he's starting to come. I mean, I don't know if I want to oh. use the word compare himself to. A metaphor. It's a metaphor. I mean, it, it, uh, yeah, I guess he's trying to metaphor himself. In a triaxle kind of bilingual way. Uh, and what what is a metaphor when you think about it? You know, absolutely nothing. Good God, y'all! <laughs> y'all. <laughs> wow, I was there was a lot of answers I thought we were going to get, and that wasn't it. So well played. Thank you for listening to an, uh, another exciting uh, episode of Rush for Dummies. I mean, sorry, Dummies Who Love Rush. Yeah, that was kind of a that was along the same lines of what I was thinking, Tim. Yeah, me too. What whatever you guys just said. <laughs> <laughs> well, I too love this song. And I think I don't know if it's because of all the moon references, because it's about the moon, right? There's a moon. But and then all those things that Tim said with how it rocks. I love the melodies. I love the 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 riffs. I love the harmonies. I love all of it. Okay, so Neil oh. using this this phenomenon, uh, another metaphor for his song, and like Tim said, comparing himself to it. Phenomenon. But I think <laughs> this, I can't think <laughs> of a better metaphor. I can't think of a better <laughs> song. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> this might be my favorite. I mean. Vital really? signs, you know, a uh, metaphor yeah. for the human condition is up there. I really like uh, Break the Surface Tension from, what's that song called? Grand Designs. Yeah. But this one too, this one's right up there. The whole imagery and the way he, he does this comparison. I have heard a lot of people describe this song as being depressing, another downer. Well, Do you all agree it, with that? Okay. It, 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 it is with the line... Um, Pale facsimile, like what others see when they look in my direction. Okay, because when you think about what are you seeing in Earthshine, you're seeing a very, very small piece of the moon that is shining through. The darkness or the paleness is the rest of the moon. And he's saying that's what other people see when they look at him. More of a, and not a bright, shiny figure, but there's more, I can see you, but you're, you're darkened, you're gray, you're kind of, I mean, it, it, it takes a negative tone to me with that. You're there, okay. not there. You're, a, you're right. a reflection of yourself, maybe, of who you once were. You you pale by, you know, you're. You're not, you're not quite you. Because he's, he's saying a pale facsimile. He's right. not saying a facsimile. No, no, no. no, no. Right. A pale. And so yeah. what, what do you, 
when somebody says, hey, Shane, you're looking really pale, that typically means you're looking down, you're looking sick, unhealthy. Yeah. Action. You know? Pale Action. rider. What's the verse about the pale rider? I don't remember that. It's the verse about the pale rider. From Pale rider. Yeah. Anyway, some revelation, I think. Something about the pale rider. Should have looked that up, but I didn't think about it until Tim mentioned it. <laughs> Uh, so I, I think just, it depends then. Oh, yes, Jay. Uh, no, I was just, I was going to ask. You said Pale Rider? P -A -L -L? Yeah, Pale Rider. Because there's <laughs> the, the, Clint East, the movie with Clint Eastwood was based on this reference in, in Scripture, something about a Pale Rider. And there's also a reference to it in Tombstone, but I can't remember the verse. Johnny Red knew it because he was a I think this fourth Pale Horse was the personification of death oh, with yes. Hades following Right. Part of the four of receiving the victim slain by death. Mm -hmm. Death's commission was to kill upon the Roman king, king earth with all of the four judgments of God, with sword, famine, pestilence, and wild beasts. Hmm. Wow. Well, that's a tangent there, isn't it? And I tricked you into going on it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Victory is mine. Well, I think it depends on whether or not the song is about Jackie or about Carrie. Now, if it's about Jackie, then he is talking about the loss and how he's nothing compared to what she was or any of that. But if it's about Carrie, then it's like a really sweet love song. I'm going to read from Ghost Rider Travels on the Healing Road from page 456. The song Vapor Trail was also one of the first lyrics I wrote for the project. For the first few songs I worked on, necessarily had some philosophical and emotional baggage to sort through. Songs like Sweet Miracle and Earthshine reflected the joy of my new life. And then I moved on to less personal, more conceptual themes. But I don't think it's about, I don't think Earthshine is about Carrie. I think it's in his travels and him saying, you know, maybe the earth shine is something he's, we've all seen it. And we've seen it at least 12 times in our life, right? I, was, I counted at least 13. Okay. One time I saw half of it. So right. 13 and so, a half. But, but maybe it was something that he saw. I mean, I've seen it, but I've never really paid attention to it. Oh, okay. It's the new moon, you know? Um, but now when oh, I see it, one better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man, bring back the old moon. It was cool <laughs> and stuff. Uh, Didn't but have now, a roof or anything. Then, but now when I see it, yes, I think of my favorite band. I think of one of my favorite songs. My favorite song from the Vapor Trails Giotto? album. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we're talking about. Right, right. And, and I, th I think that's what I think that was it. Maybe he he actually experienced it while on the road. You know, I mean, it, he he's writing and he's looking and he's like, wow, you can make out the entire moon, at, but you only see that small little slender crescent of it, but you can see the whole outline. How awesome is that? It is pretty awesome. You know, that's what I think. Uh, so, I when, don't know. I wasn't a pen pal of Neil Peer. Oh yeah, that was. He never David. told me. Well, yeah. He didn't run stuff by anything. What? Well, no. <laughs> he should have. I don't think it's your wrong. It's a song, so you know it's, he, he intended it to mean different people, different things. Because different if people. he had run stuff by me, I would have told him, Neil, in your drum solo on what would be your farewell tour and you pretty much knew that at the time you gotta bring the famous cowbell part back to your drum solo <laughs> we've been missing it for the last few tours <laughs> bring it back please yes anywho well Tim, so shane Tim, you, you when, us. when you mentioned pale rider and and revelations it it made me revelation think of it. Sorry, Revelation. Thank you. Uh, it made me Dim think the of, of a line that's from Revelation, but it's it's from a Johnny Cash song called uh, 
Oh, yeah. The man comes around, man and it's the very around. last line, and it's a spoken line. And he says, and I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts, and I looked, and behold, a pale horse, and his name that sat on him was Death, and Hell followed with him. Oh, yeah. Hmm? Oh, yes, Preach, it. From Preach it, Brother Jay. Preach yeah. it, Brother Jay. Can I get a witness? <laughs> I am. Can I get a witness? <laughs> rash i i think that this song also rash. and i think this can go either way points out one of the things that we all admire and, and respect about neil was very humble right but i i don't think he i think he knew he realized that he, how good he was he wasn't yeah. one of those people that, I mean, he always tried to get better. He even still took drum lessons very late in his career. But I think he knew that he was one of the best at the time, probably ever. Well, he had drumming, nothing to prove to anyone lyrics. but himself. Mm -hmm. But he never, that didn't mean anything. It didn't make him better in any way than any other person. Right. It just meant, yeah, okay, I'm, I'm really good at this one thing, but it, I'm still just another. Uh, but I'm piece from of Canada. Out here, I'm from Canada, and I can't ice skate. <laughs> you know, I mean, seriously, that's, that's a good point. That's not a good thing. Growing up as a young Canadian boy, not to be able to ice skate. You know, I mean, when really, all you got to live for is the next Triumph release and. Ice hockey. <laughs> triumph. Love Triumph. When are we going to do every yeah. Triumph song? Never. Never. Uh, okay. So, um, do you want to do music parts first? Or? I would, yes. And I would like to start with something. I told you about this, <laughs> I think, Shane, a couple of weeks ago. I would have ignored that a long time. Yeah. I'm going to go off on somebody, and I do not remember the name, and so that's good. But I did watch a YouTube. Me tube? Just kidding. Uh, no, a YouTube. No. Okay. Some guy with his oh, little <laughs> just pod... a YouTube, not not yeah. a video or anything. You just watched a YouTube. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just watched a YouTube on All right. and this guy was it was his reaction to Russia's Earthshine. Okay. Okay. So you get to listen to the song and he stops and he's making points here and there. Mm -hmm. Now, he says he's a bass player, but he had a huge issue with Getty's bass playing in this song, that he was basically playing rhythm guitar along with Alex. Okay. And that he should be doing more of a bass guitar part. I don't remember your name. I don't know if your little YouTube episodes are popular or they complete failures. They should be failures after I <laughs> saw that one because you don't know anything about Jack Bucko. Uh, have you heard any other Rush songs? Um, how about Bastille Day? Getty is playing the exact same part <laughs> that, <laughs> that Alex yeah. is playing. He does it a lot. The bass part that Getty does in Earthshine makes this song kick more ass than you could ever think of in your entire pathetic YouTube podcasting life. So get a life. I bet you the only songs on the bass that you could play probably come from the first two ACDC albums where you only have to hit the open E. Wow. Wow. Damn. And I would I would take it one step further. I mean, if, if you're saying he needed to play more bass, like a bass guitar, tell me what the part would sound like, buddy. How'd that right. sound? Yeah. That right. just happened. That yeah, just happened. <laughs> and and instead of him going do 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 yeah. he would just be going do 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 Yeah. Do. No, no, no. You don't know Jack about nothing. Okay. Get off of YouTube. Just stop it. And and I'm going to invite you, if you are a patron, 
of every rush song i'm going to invite you to never listen to our podcast again go somewhere else for your rush podcast but if you would please go follow all things travel <laughs> and beer thursday and beer thursday <laughs> And eventually we will get you a- uh, Seriously, you with, that is uh, one of the most yeah. moronic things I've ever heard in my life. He needs to be playing more of a bass line. I am actually and, dumber for having heard right. what he just said. May God have mercy on your soul. <laughs> Coincidentally enough, that's also what I can play on bass. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. You played a killer bass line on Fall in Love Again. I would have never did I? Did it go like this? Did it go like that? No, it did not, Jay. No, he didn't know how to play the Pines of Rome on the bass. Did he really? No, he Ooh, that would be awesome. Next time we next time we have a band, we are awesome. Definitely. We'll totally do that the next time we have a band. Yeah, the next time we have a band. Shout out to Respeegee. For sure. Pines of Rome. Rock and roll. I think we're about 40 minutes into this. Are we really? And I think we are like 35. Can we can we make this two parts? I mean, we can. We yeah, we. Okay. I say we make it two parts okay. because this song yeah. rocks. Yeah. This song. This is like Harry Potter, Death parts. Deathly Gallows. Like if, it's like Deathly Hallows. That's what I'm. <laughs> that's what I mean. I've heard it both ways. <laughs> if there is a song that's not on moving pictures, that's worthy of two or three episodes. <laughs> what what happened? <laughs> I've, I've heard it both ways. <laughs> oh, it's it's Deathly. No, I mean it's Earthshine. So, all right. Well, no, no, no. It's Callows with a K. <laughs> Definitely oh. Callows. Like Calloway Cemetery. Duh. I mean, all right. Well, yes, come back because next week, part two of Earthshine, we're going to play some of our favorite parts of the song. And Shane, oh, yeah, I mean, is going to reveal what third hand grace means, according to him. That's right. That's right. I, so, I'm so excited. It. I could just careful to careful. Just be careful. excited. Thank you. I'm very excited. Subscribe. Subscribe to the Hear It Next Week or follow whatever your podcast app does. Email us. Tell us what you think I'm gonna say next week. 2112 at every rush song.com. Follow us. Follow us. Follow us on the Soch. Drink too much beer. <laughs> at every rush song. Tim, if we were to awkwardly end this first two-parter, how would we do it? Okay. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. We're going to take a 20-minute break for a little brain surgery.